All right, so we're checking out the Newbie Drone Hummingbird F4V3. So this is the third generation Hummingbird. The last one, the V2, came out, I think, December of 2022 last year, about eight months ago. And um, I'll, I'll talk about some of the highlights here of what's uh, new in this model, but I think the biggest uh, change in this one is that they moved the VTX, which was integrated with the camera before, the BI camera, that is now integrated into the all-in-one flight controller. So the flight controller now has the uh, VTX, the flight controller, of course, 4 in one ESC, 5 amps, uh, the same as always. Uh, and the VTX is included as well as the Express LRS receiver. So this one has a Express LRS receiver with a single antenna. Now they are saying that this is gonna be uh, coming in 10 random color combinations. So I just happened to get the blue one here and mine came with a set of uh, spare yellow props. The battery is not included, and of course the one you want to use is the Nitro Nectar 300 milliamp hour 1S. So of course they're still using the PH 2.0 connector. Now they're using the solid brass pins. Uh, they're saying that, of course, it doesn't have the same performance as BT 2.0, but it's a little bit less. It's not, um, not a huge difference according to their testing. Yeah, so they're saying that the BT 2.0 can go up to 9 amps at 4.3 volts versus the their um, solid pin connector PH 2.0 can go up to 8.5 amps uh, at 4.3 volts. So according to their testing, that's why they're sticking with the PH 2.0 connector, at least in this case. And just like on previous uh, hummingbirds, they have the cockroach frame and cockroach canopy. Which of course, the if you guys if you don't know already, this frame comes with a I guess a limited uh, lifetime warranty. So if you break it, they'll send you a new one. Uh, one of the benefits of this frame, it is a little bit heavier uh, than most other um, 65 millimeter whip frames, but uh, you do get the warranty. So if you break these a lot, if you're a very aggressive flyer and you want to make sure that you can get uh, new frames, then Newbie Drone is one that you want to go for. And just to round out the rest of the specs here, you do get the uh, same BI camera uh, before, pretty, pretty solid. The OSD on here is the uh, BI OSD or whatever, it's like a newbie drone OSD, it's not the same as a Betaflight OSD, but uh, it works pretty similarly. The motors on here are these black 0802 and they're 25,000 kV. Here's how much it weighs without the battery, it's 21.8 grams. And then uh, with the battery, it's coming in at 30, a little over 30 grams, 30.16 grams. So I don't remember what the uh, previous version weighed. Um, let's check out that video. I'll link that in the video description if you happen to uh, want to see that. Uh, they're saying that the because they integrated the VTX into the all-in-one flight controller board, that should be a, a reduction in 1.3 grams. So it's it's pretty significant at this weight. I mean, it's like five percent almost. It's not the lightest 65 millimeter whoop, but uh, you know, it definitely uh, benefits in terms of performance by having a little bit less weight than before. So the uh, flight time on this is going to vary depending on how aggressive you're flying. You can get around three minutes typically. You can probably stretch it out to three and a half, maybe even four minutes depending upon conditions on this uh, Nitro Nectar battery. It also depends on how low you want to discharge the battery. So obviously if you want to get the full four minutes or whatever, you're going to probably get pretty low in the pack. And these packs can take a lot of abuse. They're pretty strong. Um, but generally speaking, if you, we probably want to land around three and a half minutes and uh, go ahead and charge up that battery again. And just like other uh, newbie drone products, it does come with a pit tune from the factory. So no worries about uh, getting a pit tune on here. You just basically charge up your batteries and uh, bind, up to, bind up to your transmitter and go and fly it. So overall, flight characteristics of this one, pretty decent. You can uh, fly it, uh, you know, basically in like whoop races and stuff like that. It's going to be perfect for that. Um, you can do a little bit of acro with this one. It, honestly, it's a, on the, a bit on the heavier side compared to some other whips that I would acro. You know, something like the Mo Beetle 6 at like 17 grams is going to be better for acro, but you can do flips and rolls, that kind of stuff like that. But in terms of more aggressive freestyle tricks like Natty flips or, you know, trippy spins, that kind of stuff, you're not going to be doing it with this one. You know, and because the, the video transmitter is limited to 25 milliwatts, you're probably going to want to stick to whip racing on this one. This is kind of where they're targeting people. And the pricing on this is pretty aggressive. Um, they're coming in at $89.99 for this one. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good price compared to a lot. A lot of, even the, the, the Mobula 6 is coming in around $110, $115, $120 
depending on which store you're looking at. So uh, pretty good price compared to a lot of other 65 millimeter whips that you can get out there as a binder fly. Yeah, so I'd say if you're primarily someone that's going to be uh, looking at this for whip racing and, you know, you're looking at that cockroach frame warranty, can, you know, you want to make sure you get replacements if you break it a lot. Uh, this is a pretty good value in terms of you know, what you get for the money. Uh, you know, if you do a lot of whip racing, break a lot of frames, uh, you want to be able to get replacement spare frames. This one is the one you want to check out at the price point. Uh, that, you know, $90 is pretty good for what you get. Anyway, I'll go ahead and put a link down in the video description to this, the batteries, um, spare props, they'll be all down in the video description if you guys want to check it out. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That would really help out the channel. That'll do it for this video. Talk to you guys in the next one.